In this video, I'd like to explain to everyone why creatine works for Everybody, hey, this is Mike Cola coming to you from Mike Cola Fitness. I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And in this video, I want to explain to you a little bit the science behind creatine. Creatine is such a popular supplement. It's actually one of the only supplements that I think that truly does work. It really does make you stronger. And I want to go into just a brief exp explanation of like the science behind why creatine does work so well. Okay, let's first start with just the first. The first energy system for muscle contraction is actually the ATP creatine, cre creatine phosphate energy system. Okay, this is how it works. All muscle contraction is fueled by ATP, anisine triphosphate. Okay, now the muscles already have a few seconds of ATP stored in the muscle. So for example, if, if, if you're doing a heavy lift, the first two, three, four seconds, you're fueling that lift. What's, con what's making the muscle contract is that, is that ATP that's actually stored in the muscle. But since your body quickly uses that up, you have to make all, all more ATP. So what happens is that's when the creatine, that's this creatine phosphate kicks in, this phase kicks in. For example, the body takes ATP, which is actually converted into ADP, anisine diphosphate, which is two phosphate molecules, picks up a phosphate molecule from the creatine, and then you make ATP. And this gives you a few more seconds, at least 10 seconds or even longer, maybe somewhat upwards of 30 seconds of muscle contraction. Okay, so for example, everyone can only store so much creatine in their muscles. So if you take a supplement, you can actually store a lot more creatine in your muscles, which will help you make ATP quicker. That's the key to this creatine. The creatine actually helps you make ATP quicker. It's a quicker system. For example, once the creatine is used up, then you have to go into glycolysis. And the glycolysis is the process of taking carbohydrates and converting these carbohydrates into ATP. It's a slower process. So the first energy system is this phosphocreatine type, ATP phosphocreatine energy system. Then you go into glycolysis. So if you, can ha if you can take a creatine supplement and actually store more creatine in the muscle cell itself, you'll make ATP quicker and you'll pretty much be stronger. And there's also other benefits to taking creatine as well. For example, when you, when you store more creatine in the muscle, you'll most likely hold more water in the muscle. It kind of volumizes the muscle cell. That's why some guys, when they take it, some you know, girls or guys take it, you know, they instantly feel like, oh my God, I've, been, I, I've, take, I've only taken creatine for a week and I'm actually look bigger and I look more muscular. And it actually is actually in the muscle cell that gets volumized. So it's really cool. You don't look like you're gaining body fat. You look like you got more muscular, okay? And there's also, I know like the, the traditional way of, of taking it is you do a loading phase, say you would take 20 grams and do a maintenance dose of five grams a day. You know, in my own personal experience with it, I don't think you do have to load with creatine. I think you can just, actually it'll take a little bit longer to get into your system, but I think you can just do that two and a half to five, five grams a day. It'll take a little more time, but I mean, if you take too much, if it can't upset your stomach, and there really aren't too many side effects when it comes to taking creatine. There's been so many studies on it. I mean, initially you hear studies, oh, it can affect your kidneys, dehydration, things along the line of that. But if you drink adequate amount of water, I don't think you can get into too much trouble with, with creatine. I mean, obviously check with your doctor before you take any supplement. You know, get a pharmaceutical grade, get a high quality form of the creatine. You know, obviously get a real good one if you can. The only other thing, the only strange thing is I have, you know, if you Google creatine, and you look at side effects, you know, a couple of things do come up with afibrillation, meaning that there has been a couple of incidences, maybe more than, a, just, just a few of you check the internet where people like, actually young people have gone to the hospital with afib. Afib just means that like, like you have an irregular heart rate, irregular heart rate, and obviously when you go to an ER with an irregular heart rate, they say, well, what have you been doing? And people have reported saying, oh, I've been taking creatine, and I think it's somewhat inconclusive, you know, I mean, there are some actually hard benefits to taking creatine, but it's something that you may want to Google and you may want to read about and you may want to discuss with your doctor before taking creatine. But in general, I mean, there's been numerous studies showing that it's a relatively safe stuff supplement and it really is, I would think, maybe the only <laughs> supplement that does truly work 
if you're interested in getting a little bit stronger in the gym or at your sport. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I know it's just a quick explanation of creatine and how it could possibly work for you. And, you know, if you like this video, you're watching it on, on uh, YouTube, give me a thumbs up. If you're checking it out on Facebook, give me a like. And I always like to end this video by saying that you live in Westchester, New York, and you're looking for a great gym to train in, check me out. My gym is called Mike Cola Fitness. I've been Mike, my name is Mike Cola, and I've been doing this for over 25 years. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon.